saying every single word. I am. I am because it helps me concentrate. When the book's like this, guess you'll be too busy to meet in them. Oh. I don't know, some big alum of the school. Something cliche. Francois. Francois Couchet is here? Study time over. <laughs> Better get these down. I don't want him to think I'm some kind of groupie. <laughs> always talk about this place called the zone, a magic state of invincibility, where your focus is so intense, nothing exists outside the game. The thing about the zone is, it's hard to notice when you're in it, but you sure as heck notice when you're not. Not your day, huh, Squib? Too bad I don't have your obsessive compulsive lace problem to get me pumped. Helps me concentrate. Ever hear of the concept? I was concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> the regionals will affect your ranking, you know. Yeah, so? So, you've got to get it together and pull out of this slump before it's too late. Get it together? Think that up yourself? Ever consider a career in psychology? This yours? <laughs> that was luck. So have you heard about Francois Cochet? Number six in the world? Yeah, he sounds vaguely familiar. I meant, have you heard he's here to teach a clinic? Oh, yeah, right. I'm serious. I just saw him in the open with Gunnarsson. No way! Why aren't you freaking out? No biggie. Not a Francois fan? Let me be his guide. Sorry? Frostwell Couchet. For what it's worth, I know everything about him. That right. Divorced twice. One junior Wimbledon while still a student here. Wicked topspin plays best on grass. Of course, his backhand's been kind of sucking since his wrist operation, and he needs to slice one. Impressive. But I'll bet I know something you don't. Huh? What? Standing right behind you. I didn't notice if I fainted. I still remember my way around the place. But it would be nice to have someone to hit with. Maybe Miss... <laughs> Styles. ...would volunteer. Hey! Francois, you might need someone to, uh... Oh, well. Look who's here. Skipping stones? Call the cliche police. Not skipping stones. I'm drowning them. I thought you'd be down here. Meg said you were acting kind of weird. You just caught me thinking out loud. Hey, wait. You want to find one that's flat? Try this. Hey, shouldn't we be getting ready for these? The regionals. I knew I was forgetting something. Whoa, easy there, Captain Sarcasm. 
Did I touch a nerve or something? <sighs> Just my parents said I had to qualify for the Canadian Junior Davis Cup. Or else. Well, it's just another tournament. What's the problem? The problem is who I drew in tomorrow's qualifier. Venus Williams? Max Guerrero. Oh, yeah. Sorry. He was a tennis prodigy, like Sonny, except now he's my age. They call him The Wall. Oh, brutal nickname. Appropriate nickname, because no matter what you send to him, it comes back. Try it out. Just remember to give me credit when you win Wimbledon. But I don't practice nearly enough. Some people practice forever, but they'll never have the one thing you've got. Natural talent. Actually, sometimes I'm terrified I'm not going anywhere with tennis. You know that fear never leaves you. Really? Really. Uh, there used to be this great little pizza joint in town, La Monica's. Is it still there? When no, we don't really get to go into town. They're like totally strict here now. Everything we eat is good for you. So you don't know any places to go for dinner? Well, I know the teachers like to go to Chez Jacques. Hey, you want to come? You know I'm not allowed off campus. I think I can pull some strings. Are you serious? Yeah. You are serious. <laughs> I'll go put on something more comfortable. <laughs> ah, Monsieur Cochet. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind hitting a few with me. Maybe later. Um... Sebastian. Looking forward to it. How come no one else is freaking out about this tournament? Regionals are optional for them. Their stellar rankings get them a bye into the Davis Cup. Well, that sucks. Your parents know you're having a rough time. <laughs> Son, you could be just as good as your brother if you'd only apply yourself. What's your brother got to do with this? <sighs> Nothing. Everything. Forget it. So, what happens if you don't win the regionals? They'll send me to a regular school. Squib, I think I know someone who might be able to help. You have told me nothing about your mother. Hmm. <laughs> You know, when I was your age, I spent a lot of time being funny, too. I don't believe it. No, it's true. I was quite the ham. No, I mean, I don't believe that you were once my age. You know, they say that humor is a way that we cover up how we really feel about stuff. They say a lot of things. Like sadness and anger. Why would I be angry? Oh, come on, Squib. You guys have pushed pretty hard here at Cascadia. Nah. How's your father? Last session, you said he was worried about you. He isn't worried about me. He's worried about my tennis. Why do you say that? Because he's spending 50000 a year on my game, but all I got for Christmas was a plastic sports watch. That would be the anger I was talking about. Yeah, well, I'll just have to snap out of it, won't I? Ah. Eureka! You're cured. Well, we're done here, and that'll be $50. That'd be the humor you were talking about? Listen. Coach Gunnison wants you to get into a clinic with Francois Couchet. I told him, no, I'm not interested in having the cavalry ride in to save poor Squib. Tell me something, Squib. What is it you like about playing tennis? Whoever said I liked it. Well, if you're serious, why don't you quit? <laughs> Cute. Reverse psychology. No, no tricks. It's not my job to convince you to do something you hate. If I quit, my dad would kill me. Come on, we both know he wouldn't do that. He'd do worse. He'd just ignore me for the rest of my life. You are not gonna believe this. What? Guess. Oh, shut up and tell me. I'm going to Chez Jacques. With Francois! Say what? That's like a romantic date. 
place. And he taught me an awesome second serve. I wonder if this is how Steffi and Andre started. Uh, Adina, this is wrong on so many levels. The guy's like twice your age. Oh, relax, he is not. Besides, it's not like we're gonna be playing tonsil tennis. Just, you know, lay some groundwork. Okay, so long as that's all you're gonna- And then, once the groundwork is laid, who knows? Shouldn't you be practicing? I already got parents, Sebastian. Two of them, in fact. Thanks, anyways. I hear you canceled your time with Francois tomorrow. I ever tell you how Francois Cachet changed how I play tennis? No, but something tells me you're about to. When he played Becker in the first round of Wimbledon, he was only 19. He lost the game, but he had Becker running around for five sets, chasing after his high, deep topspin. And let me guess, next day, little Sebastian practices his topspin, and the rest is history. What's with you lately? Hey, you mind if I watch TV? Hey, I know you're worried about the wall. Francois could teach you a few tricks. Back off, Sebastian. I'm warning you. <laughs> warning me? Blowing off the regionals? Ignoring the learning opportunity of a lifetime? Hey, are you guys okay? It's like I don't even know you anymore. Maybe you never did. Do you ever try talking? It's like yelling, but quieter. Got a better solution. I'm out of here. Yeah, great. Go hide in your room. That's not what I mean. I'm out of here, as in out of Cascadia. I quit. I knew something was wrong, but typical Squib doesn't say a word. But I thought you were his friend. It's a guy thing, okay? So what do we do? Guess. What? Not now, Adina. What's going on? Squid just quit. Quit? What do you mean he quit? I don't know. I gotta talk to him. So, aren't you gonna tell me what you think? You like? Wow. I like. So, um, what are you up to later? Funny you should ask. Ready, Adina? I'm coming, Frankie. <laughs> hey. Uh, Sebastian. Right. right. Different look for you? Uh, I can't remember the last time I got to dress up. <laughs> well, you look fantastic. Why are we stopping? Here? There's someone I'd like you to meet. Adina, this is my partner, Katarina. Katarina, this is my rising tennis star, Adina. Uh, hi. We should go. I don't want to keep you up too late. Well, if it isn't Mr. Congeniality, New technique? <laughs> Something like that. I could be wrong, but wouldn't that be considered cheating? The rules don't matter anymore. I'm quitting tennis. Your dad suggested it. Oh, please. He was testing you. Then I guess I failed. <sighs> For what it's worth, the wall's pretty relieved. Relieved? Why? I did some research. He sucks against a fast serve. You've clocked in at 100 miles an hour. Around there? How do you find out about the wall? I'm a faculty brat, remember? I have access to all the profiles. Sucks against speed, huh? Yeah. He pushed a game against Tim Mooney last year because he couldn't break his serve. I'm no Tim Mooney. Give me a break. Your serve is faster, and you have way better footwork. You'll blast the wall off the court. In another life, maybe. Squib, is there anything you want to talk about? Because I... Cody, you're probably the nicest person I know. And? And I want you to get lost.
You know, luxury and privilege only get you so far. The first time I played Wimbledon, United Air lost my luggage, my racket, my clothes, everything. No way. So, what'd you do? You don't travel very often, do you? Things like that happen all the time. When we moved from London, half of our things ended up in Venice. You live together? Of course, we've been together for three years. Oh. What? Well, I thought you guys were like business partners or something. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> Thank you for picking such a great restaurant. It reminds me of Bistro Lautrec in Paris. It's very romantic. It's too bad all the food is drenched in oil and butter. Can I interest you ladies in one of our sumptuous desserts? Nothing for me, thanks. What's the most fattening thing on the menu? Probably the tiramisu. I'll take three. If you'll excuse me, I have to make a phone call. <laughs> Sounds important. <laughs> Probably just checking her makeup. You see, Katarina's a little vain. It comes with being a model. She's a model? Mm, sort of. She's retired. I guess that's why she's always worried about how she looks. It's a habit. Like counting every calorie instead of just enjoying a meal. So, you like it here? This place is perfect. It's refreshing to talk with someone I have things in common with. Katerina doesn't seem to like it very much. Don't pay any attention to Katerina. I don't. But she's your girlfriend. One of them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, buddy, listen up. You can't quit. <laughs> you just can't. I know you say talking about stuff is for chicks, but I don't know. I just wish you'd tell me what's going on. Did I do something wrong? Just tell me. <sighs> Look. Everyone's pretty down you're leaving, and for what it's worth, they're really gonna miss you. And I'm going to, I'm gonna miss you too. Hey, I'm talking here. It's past 10, you'll get busted. They can't suspend me if I quit. This isn't about Sebastian, Francois, or Cascadia, is it? It isn't really even about the wall. Look, it's late, I'm tired. So what if I lie, What? It's about your brother, Squid. Enough already. Can't anyone just have a private life around here? I checked Ryan's record. His last match was against the wall. So? The one before he died. That's right, and Ryan lost. What about it? Only that none of us can imagine how hard it must be for you to play him. Or not to. No, no! Is it my grip? It's your approach! You're telegraphing! Your opponent will know exactly what you're planning to do. I have to bluff them? Exactly. It's all finesse. Is the seat taken? Who are you gonna want? I came to play. I gotta work off that too, me too. Okay, let's work it back and forth now. Here we go. Okay. Out of boy. Quicker, quicker, come on. Like this? Look, I'm sorry about dinner last night. Right what on earth for? He shouldn't have brought me with you. It's a date restaurant. That's Francois's fault. He likes being adored. He collects people the way I collect shoes. Doesn't that bug you? Good. Thanks. Out of boy. Okay. Good work. Hey. We're gonna get some lunch. You wanna come? Can't. I'd love to, but gotta practice. Yeah. Bye.
He makes it look so easy. I can't believe how much he taught me. Me too. You want to learn a great second serve? Ladies and gentlemen, match point for Mr. Furlong versus Max the Wall Giro. Squib really failed. He admired his brother so much that that maybe the only thing worse than losing to the wall was beating him. <laughs> <laughs> 